everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shimey here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are watching the fifth episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Holy crap, guys. Everyone's been sort of like on a trip for this show. And especially on the cliffhanger we were left on last week. Whew, there has been some conversations going on. Um, after watching last week's episode, I did watch it a couple of times just to sort of take it in because, you know, like the first watch is very heavy and, you know, there was a lot of different themes that went on last week. So, yeah, I, I went back and I was watching it and I, I wrote down what I thought needs to seriously be addressed because um, we are only now an episode away from the finale, which is shocking. Honestly, I think... If it had two more episodes, I think it could have breathed a little better. But, um, yeah, it's a little tragic that we didn't have a longer series. Sort of like WandaVision, I would have liked to at least have at least one extra episode or two. Um, just because it feels like, especially with John's progression, like, it, it seems like they could have at least pulled it off for one more episode. I'd like to see more of Sam's thoughts. And I hate to say this, but so far, even though it is Sam Wilson's show, it seems... That his own story is getting overshadowed, and I wrote this down, and I, I hate to say it, it's getting overshadowed by two white male figures, of course, um, Winter Soldier, aka Bucky, and John, the new Captain America. So, I hate to say it, but it seems like that's been going on recently, especially after watching the last episode, so I was like, oh, it feels like we haven't gotten a lot of Sam, so I hope... These next two episodes really focus in on Sam and really allow, like, his story to flourish out properly. Because I understand, we've been waiting for a lot of stuff for Bucky. We, we, you know, we need that conflict for the boys to sort of come back together and also, you know, like, find out what's going on with John and stuff. I hate to say this as well, but I want to say this at the beginning because I know some of you don't watch the end of the video, so, yeah. Next week, <laughs> the finale. I'm really upset and I'm really annoyed by this. Unfortunately, on Friday, I can't watch the finale because, for some weird reason, uh, a family member is getting married on a Friday. And it happens to obviously coincide with the finale. And it's, you know, as much as I love weddings, as much as I love this particular family member, I, <laughs> I hate the fact that it's colliding with one of the biggest, like, shows that I love at the moment. And I just really hope... That the finale's good, but oh, I just wished that it was on another day, of course. Just cause so I could watch it with everybody and like have that hype. Um, so yeah, I will not be watching it on time, like I and uploading it at the usual time. So, you know, be a little bit patient with me. <sighs> it's annoying because I really, really want to watch it. And I was like, Mom, can I just like come late to the reception? But I can't. It's like all the way in the city, so <laughs> it's annoying. But anyway, let's jump straight into this. I've done enough talking. Let's jump straight into this. I'm excited. Oh, <gasps> But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh, shit! Oh, no, Sam has to be careful. Oh my god! Oh my god, Bucky with the shield. Once again, guys! Throw back! It, they're not making you do anything. <gasps> Bucky! Bucky, oh my god. Oh lord. Oh my god. <gasps> Sam! Oh, what the shot. Oh my god. Oh! They broke his arm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whew. That was all. C wow. They better. Oh my god. Oh yeah, let me guess, they're all gonna cover... cover his ass. I only ever did what you asked of me, what you told me to be, and trained me to do, and I did it. And I did it well. Oof. Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. Actually, it's Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. Who is she? Val. Hold up! I, I need to double check my research. Not my research, but like who this woman is. Contessa Fontaine. Espionage. Da 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 da. da. Nick Fury agent. Madam Hydra. Oh shit. She's in league with Hydra. Okay, that's a big deal then. Wait, known as Lee Fontaine. 
Val, Agent 14, Madam Hydra. Oh, Becky! This is my favorite jacket on him. Oh, in a way, I feel bad for him. <laughs> oh, what a shot. Oh! I have another favorite ask. Ooh. <gasps> yes, Isaiah! Ooh, is he taking it to him? <gasps> they don't tell us what it is. They tell us it's tetanus. They sent us on they did. I heard the brass talking about blowing the POW camp to hell to hide the evidence. But those are my men. My brothers, not evidence. And I brought them boys back. Not that it made a damn bit of difference. Just like Steve did. And what did I get for saving their lives? <gasps> they will never let a black man be Captain America. <laughs> Someone said it. What's that? I called in a favor from the Wakandans. <gasps> Is that the suit? I feel like Bucky would know stuff because sort of in his backstory it said he worked on the dock. Oh my god! I'm Sam. Sam. <laughs> Sam's like, oh fuck. <laughs> I love it. They're gonna romance them, aren't they? Oh, that's gonna be cute. He's the one to kill that boy. Yes. No, you liar. Just gonna pause there for a second. Um, I don't know how to feel. Just because he lied to them, and it's just like you know, like they think that he's brought justice, but in reality, he hasn't. He killed a guy who wasn't even. He was the one holding him. He was the one who wasn't even, who didn't even kill him. It was Ka Ka Carly. I was about to call her Carla. Carly. Um, so the fact that, you know, it, it's it's not because of them. It's mostly because he's lying and he's just, you know, we know the truth. So it's just making it really uncomfortable to know that he's lying and, you know, they feel at peace. But in reality, it's not true. And he's lying. It's uh. I can give you double this time. I promise you won't regret saying yes. Sharon... Is she gonna sell out the boys? When Steve told me what he was planning, I don't think either of us really understood what it felt like for a black man to be handed the shield. How could we? I owe an apology. Oh! I'm sorry. Bucky! It made me feel like I had nothing left. Oh! You gotta stop looking to other people to tell you who you are. You want to climb out of that hell you're in. Do the work. Do it. Making amends. You weren't amending, you were avenging. You were stopping all the wrongdoers you enabled as a winter soldier. Mm. Because you thought it would bring you closure. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you know Carly won't quit. Call me when you have a lead up. Aww, friendship. Jesus, we still have a lot of episode to go. Fifteen minutes. That's not too long, but still, it's quite a lot. Um, that went a lot different to how I thought it would, but I think it was done well because I think a lot of us sort of expected. I think because like Steve did it to Bucky a lot, not babied him, but was always like telling him stuff and what to do maybe and stuff like that. But with Sam, and this is the thing, I sort of came to conclusion with this in terms of the mental health of Sam because everyone was like oh we have to see like the impact that you know Riley had on him oh we have to see everything else that like had an impact but everything that happened with Riley has made Sam into who he is it's made him into a better listener it's made him into being more patient and you know giving tough love when it's needed um you know, and a lot of people were saying we need to explore it, but it's like, we don't need to. This is the man that's been impacted already by Riley's death. But also, because I, I wrote it on Inst I wrote it on Tumblr. I need to find the post that I wrote it on. Um, but I, I wrote like a big ass rant. It's, you know, this, this reaction video is going to be long anyway. So let me just find it. 
So someone wrote out and said, not enough people talk about Riley and Sam, specifically the impact that Riley's death had on Sam. And I think we as a fandom should talk about it. And I said, I think so too. I think it happened so long ago for this character of Sam that we already know the effects of Riley's death that it had on him. It's obvious he had his struggles with mental health, but I'm guessing once he got a handle of it, turned to helping all veterans. It, it's because of Riley that Sam has become the man who he is, one that is open to helping all without the use of violence. He's very optimistic, and though people can call him naive, this is because he believes that there is good in everyone. And you know who else was like that? Steve Rogers. Steve knew this. He knew how Riley's death affected Sam because it's exactly what happened with Bucky. And after many years of being friends and comrades, Steve knew that Sam was the right choice to be Captain America. I wrote that on a thing, and I was, like, pretty proud of myself. But... It's true. Like, a lot of people were saying we need to see the impact, but we don't need to. We're seeing the after effects. So we're seeing him talking people out of stuff. We're seeing him talk things out and be patient. And that's what he did just then with Bucky. Um, he didn't need to spoon feed it to Bucky. And I'm guessing, and I think he did, throughout this whole time, Bucky has been watching and seeing all these little things happen, especially this thing with the cops. He knew. And even especially with the whole thing with Isaiah... Like, you know, he's not going to be blind to it. He'll know it. So I think now that he's seen it happen to Sam and he's also seen the effects it had on Sam, he understands that he was wrong and that he didn't understand how much of an impact it would have on a black man being Captain America. So I'm glad that Bucky apologized and, you know, he said he's sorry and stuff like that. I'm really glad. But also, I'm happy that Sam was tough on Bucky because even with Bucky, he's been in that cycle of just hating himself and being like, I need to come to terms with it. But in reality... We all know that that method was not helping him. The one that, obviously, the counsellor gave to him. Therapist, actually. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad Sam was tough with him. And Bucky's going to have to do the work. So, I'm glad. And I'm excited to see what happens in the next 15 minutes. Because, oh my god. This is our history. We can't lose this fight. All our struggles as a people. I think about it and I used to say, I'm going to show them. I'm going to go out and change the world. Silly, I know, but I would look in your eyes. I could tell you were always thinking that I was running away. <laughs> oh, what an icon. My God. It makes me so happy. I got some help. It's even at the odds. Sam screwed him out of a small fortune not long ago. He's been dying to get paid back ever since. Oh shit! Oh, it's a sad. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! Is there white on it? How dare you! How dare you do that to us? Oh my god! Wait, is there a? Is he making a shield? <gasps> oh shit! Oh my god! <gasps> shit! That's that that's honestly nuts. That's crazy. Oh my god! What an episode! Really good episode. This episode was so good, and it it did answer a lot of what I wanted on the list in a very different way than I thought it would be handled. But I loved this episode. I keep saying it like every episode is so good. Um. But the conversation in this was a l very different things, you know, like obviously the topic of racism, a lot of stuff to do with the black community, especially g coming back to Isaiah, so many things, the stuff with Carly and Bucky and then Sam and oh, there's a lot. Oh, S Sebastian has been killing it. Like, you know, Anthony has it in the bag with Sam, like he, he is perfect as Sam, but with, with, I don't know, with Sebastian... He plays it so beautifully, because Bucky, you know, like, he was he's one of my favourite characters, not only because he's handsome, but because, um, just his storyline is so interesting, there's so many different arcs that go in different ways, so the fact that, you know, they've written it this way is very beautiful and very well done, but also just him acting, like, I didn't get to speak about it last episode too much, just because, you know, we were on a roll, but... Damn, his acting is so beautiful, especially last time we saw the relief, acting in the eyes, acting in the emotion, just, oh, beautiful, and then we saw it in this episode, sort of like that anxiety, you know, like playing with the book, you know, fiddling a lot and just unable to get the words out and explain, beautiful, and that's all tropes of Bucky and just like, he plays him so well and I hope that both Anthony and 
um, Sebastian get nominations for Emmys at least, along with Paul Bettany for WandaVision, because damn, these guys can act. I know a lot of, like, big critics and even people say, like, oh, Marvel movies, oh my god, but, like, now that we get the shows, we're diving deep into all these different topics about mental health, about, you know, all these different factors, like, grief and stuff, like, this is so good. Um, I think a lot of people as well, I was gonna say, were expecting Steve to show up in this episode. Um, I sort of was clinging to the idea that they might go to him for help or sort of like for for notes, but no, obviously it's definite that he is gone. Or he might show up in the next episode, never know. <laughs> there has to be a nomination for, of course, Wyatt Russell who plays John Walker. Beautiful performance. And don't hate the actor, hate the character, please. By all means, do not hate the actor because he's doing a fantastic job at acting as John. It's very hard, you know. Um, also, I hate the fact that they left us on a cliffhanger with him opening, like Sam opening the the, she the um, uniform case and we don't get to see the uniform. <sighs> it's so annoying because it's just like, oh, I've been, I've been waiting for this for so long and just like, it made me tear up because it's like, this is a, a black man taking on the mantle of Captain America. This is such a big deal. Like, I can't imagine what this must be like for kids, like, in this day and age, to have a character like this on screen for them. Like, it makes me so happy. Um, but, oh, I hate that they tease dust. Ah, it's annoying. But... At the same time, I'm super excited to see, like, what else is in store for us in the next episode. It's gonna be a banger. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So yeah, all the stuff with Carly. You know, I really like the fact that Sam was able to talk to her, but I don't think there is gonna be a way to bring her back from the line she's crossing. Just because she, um... It, you know, now she's out for... In a way, she's out for blood now, at this point. Um, now that one of them have been murdered, and after what happened to the center, she's very upset, of course. Which is understandable, but at the same time, I do not condone, like, the violent action she's been doing. It's very wrong, and I just... Yeah, there's gonna be... I don't know how it's gonna turn out. <clears throat> Whether Sam gets to her first, or John gets to her, that's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. Um... Yeah, I cannot wait to see that unfold. That's gonna be interesting. I'm just so annoyed that I can't watch the finale like the same day as everybody else. It's so disheartening, but I'm gonna have to wait till either late Friday night or Saturday morning. Watch it early and get it out. I promise you guys I'm gonna watch it, but oh, it's gonna be a big one and oh, it's gonna be really, really good. But again, thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Crazy Bingo out.